Okay, welcome to the studio. Uh, today we're lit with a regular 800 watt redhead. Ta-da! And now we're lit with a True Color HS panel fixture. Now, the difference between this light and regular LED based fixtures is the LEDs inside this, uh, we're lit with white light, but the LEDs inside it are actually blue. Um, the idea is that the LEDs aren't actually the light source for this fixture. What happens is the LEDs excite phosphor coated panels. Like in a fluorescent tube? Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's like a big flat fluorescent Bring tube. Bring it over, let's have a look right, inside. Let's have a look. So, why? Okay, the whole idea of this is that we get very predictable color temperature light source. This is actually what's making the light. Yep. It's phosphor coated panel. If you think of this as an unwrapped fluorescent tube, that's what this is. Okay. And it sits in front of these panels in here, which have lots and lots of little blue LEDs. Um, now, it gets pretty warm, but it is sinking 450 watts of heat, which is quite a bit. Yeah. Now, you can change the color temperature just by sliding the panels out and putting a different color temperature panel in. Mm -hmm. um, there is a safety switch, which locks out the, uh, the mechanism while this is open. And that's because it's probably not real healthy to be running it without uh, the panel in there. Yeah, yeah, well you don't want to be irradiated. No, you don't want to be irradiated. Um, so look, that, that's the whole thing about how it works. It's a 160 degree uh, beam spread. Um, equivalent output on this is, this is actually probably slightly higher output than about a two kilowatt soft light. Yeah, it sure is 450 bright. It watts. sure it, is bright. It There's is no bright, yeah. it is bright now. Possibly because of, I don't know, LED control or the way the phosphor works, you know, it requires a minimum level of excitement to light up or something. You can only dim it down as far as 20%. Hmm. You can dim it via DMX. You can manually dim it off the controller here or you can flip it into DMX control mode, hmm. five pin in and loop So through. it's probably gonna get used in dim mode and it's gonna last forever because it's LED. That's the general idea, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, it's gonna it's gonna generate a lot less heat than the equivalent tungsten sort of fixture mm. would. But where we need, we can get bucket loads of output from it, and we, we can, can. Yeah, we can get bucket loads of output. But the important thing is that we can then dim that, mm. and we still have a predictable color temperature. Mm. So mm. we can get bucket loads, but we can also get not bucket loads, which yeah. is constant. You know, Equally constant important. color temperature. Yeah, it's constant color mm. temperature. Uh, the color rendering index at 3200, I think, is around 97, which mm. is very high for an LED fixture. And I guess the reality is that this is this is this is a phosphor powered fixture, mm. um, which is powered so, by LEDs. All right. So PRG are bringing this in, and um, True Color HS. Pretty cool.